Hey Virgo, welcome to your general love reading for April 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Virgo. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. You can check out one of your other signs if you'd like, or you can book a personal reading with me. And you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in this reading because it is general. Okay, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what is happening for you in a love connection in April? All right, for the situation, we have the Nine of Swords crossed by Justice. Okay, so we do have Libra's energy showing up in your reading. Some of you might be dealing with the Libra. Definitely let me know if you are. Um, okay, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of anxiety. Um, could be that there is some pain or overthinking about this situation, either by you or by the other person. And I feel like this is related to a decision, a decision that somebody is trying to make possibly, but hasn't fully made this decision, all right? Because justice is in the challenge position here. Um, and this decision could be just about anything. It could even be trying to make things right. Um, and that this person has not made things right, and so there's pain, right? There's a lot of stress. Um, could be anything. We'll see more when we clarify. For you, we have the Two of Pentacles, Death, and the Six of Cups. Okay, so we also have Scorpio showing up here. Yeah, it feels like there's this, there's an ending here. There's an ending with a person that you feel, you know, you had a very deep soul connection for. And so because of that, there is there is some nostalgia here. You're missing this person. Um, you're trying to manage it, though. I feel like you're doing a really good job with finding your balance concerning this ending or some kind of a transformation or a transition in this connection. For them, we have the Ten of Swords, ooh, the Five of Swords, and the Star. Okay, I'm glad to see the Star. I'm saving the day here. Um, so that's Aquarius. Yeah, there's definitely been some kind of an ending. Um, and I feel like it's creating a lot more pain for the other person than it is for you. So I do feel like they're the ones who are stressed out here. Um, and it does also feel like it could be them who are in this, who have this justice card as their challenge. It feels like this person is feeling like they've dug a rut for themselves, for themselves, and they've crawled into it and just don't know what to do. They just want to kind of bury themselves in this rut. That's how stressed they are. They feel like they have either betrayed you, betrayed the connection, or, you know, they have just done something that was at the cost of you or of other people. Um, I don't see you so negatively affected by it. I feel like, you know, if you were negatively affected by it, you're finding your balance. Like I said, you're coping, you're, you're able to manage. Um, especially with the Two of Pentacles in this particular deck, because I don't always get this with the Two of Pentacles, but from this deck, I mean, just look how <laughs> peaceful this um, this woman in the image is. So I feel like that's that's where you're heading at least. Okay, if you're not there yet, that's where you're where you're heading. Yes, there might be some nostalgia here. Um, yes, you feel like this is a deep soul connection, but you're really doing a good job in how you're handling this. Now, the good thing about with this person though. Um, is that there is there is um, some hope here. There's some healing that they're moving towards. So we'll see what that's about. And for the potential outcome, we have strength. Okay, Leo energy. So that's really positive as well. Um, possibly this person gaining the strength to finally make this decision that is stressing them out so much. Um, and it could also be you having the strength to just, you know, keep, 
keep moving forward. All right, let's clarify, let's see. For the Nine of Swords and Justice, we have Judgment, the Two of Cups, and the Six of Swords. So this is a decision which would actually um, move move away from conflict. Like this, this decision would actually move to more peace. Um, but you know that's well, it's always easier to see that after the deed is done um, in hindsight, right? Um, at the moment, though, it's that's something that this person is having a hard time seeing. But what I am seeing here, though, with judgment is that they are having this realization, right? We have the two of cups. So there is a lot of love here. This is revolving around love. This decision is revolving around love. And there is some, it's not just a decision. It's also a discernment. It's also some kind of an acknowledgement that this person is needing to make. And I do see them doing that. I feel like, you know, they are slowly moving towards um, their resolution for this, but it does feel like it's taking a bit of time here. I feel like they're really processing the ending between the two of you first. But the fact that they're feeling so overwhelmed and so stressed, it's, it's serving as a wake-up call for them. All right, let's see the Two of Pentacles in your energy. The Moon, okay, Pisces, and the Fool. Okay, it could also be Aries here. We have a lot of signs showing up in your reading. Um, so you might be having some doubts, okay, in terms of how you're doing, because it's not easy. It's definitely not easy, okay? With the Two of Pentacles, it's never an easy energy. You're really trying to find your balance, and it could be that you're also finding yourself fluctuating. Like the one day you might feel like, okay, you know, I'm doing good, um, I'm feeling okay, and then the next day or the next minute even, you might be feeling like, am I really? Like it might feel like you're, you're kind of going back um, to how you were before. And this is because, you know, it, it might even be scary um, to feel like you're moving on. That could be a part of it as well. Um, because the new path forward that you find yourself on feels unknown. It feels a little bit mysterious. But but you're doing it. You're, you're, you're balancing. It's normal to have some fluctuations back and forth, but you are finding that balance ultimately. So don't let the, your own doubts get to you, is the message here. All right, let's see death. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it, it feels like, you know, this... This ending, it's like really shifting things. It's really taking you in a new direction here. And again, it feels a little bit intimidating. It feels a little bit difficult, but you're pushing through. You're pushing through. And the message for you here is to not give up, basically. Because this um, this ending, even if it is difficult, it's, it's really changing things for you in a very positive, positive way. So let's see the Six of Cups. The Hierophant and the Magician. Wow, I mean, the amount of Major Arcana cards <laughs> in this reading is, is, is a little ridiculous. Um, all right, so we have Aries showing up again and Taurus as well. Okay, so it could be that this person that you're dealing with, for some of you, this person might be somebody who um, is married, possibly, um, to someone else. Okay, it's not going to be for all of you. It's just like an extra little message that we're getting here. Um... Or it could be somebody who is just holding on very, very strongly to their own beliefs. Um, either way, the important message here is that no matter what, you have learned so much from this connection. There is a higher purpose to this connection and to everything that you have been through. And I feel like you know, you're really learning your lessons or you've gotten to this point where you have already learned most of what it is that you were meant to learn, which is at the same time, there's also like this resolution of, um, or a balancing of karma at the same time is what I'm getting here, especially with that wheel of fortune um, that you have, that you share between 
um, with this person. And whatever this experience has been for you, it's really, it has given you the tools to really move forward and to, you, you're just so much wiser, you're so much stronger because of it. And now whether you end up with this person or not, I mean, that's a different story. Maybe you will. Um, but what's important right now is taking in those lessons, and I feel like you're doing that. All right, let's see for them. Let's see this Ten of Swords for the other person. Ooh, the Five of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, they're really feeling, they're feeling it. They're feeling it big time. They're feeling the loss of this. They're feeling the pain of this. Um, I feel like they just don't really know what to do. I feel like this person may have, you know, not been able to give you much. And this is what they are regretting here. This is what they're like crying over and feeling the pain over, you know, having been giving you so little in the past, either in terms of commitment or energy or effort or attention, affection, whatever, whatever that is. They're learning from this too. They're learning from this too though. And even from this pain that they're feeling, they're learning from that. Let's see the Five of Swords. The Seven of Wands and Justice. See, I told you this is all about them. So they've been resisting making this decision. They've had their guard up when it comes to making a decision, and that is the betrayal. Even if that decision is to just, um, you know, apologize or, you know, whatever. It's a part of the, of the, whatever that betrayal was here. And again, it doesn't have to be something like really big. It doesn't have to be like this person, you know, um, having been unfaithful. It could be, but what I'm saying is it doesn't have to be that. It could be something you know, as simple as just betraying the connection um, by not making a decision that would be for the highest good for the connection. So let's see. I, I, and I really, like, what I see here um, is that they're just sulking in this. They're just really just feeling the pain of this. Um, but the star, the star could shift things here. So let's see. Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's hope. And, and I feel like this person is feeling hopeful for a commitment to release whatever these burdens are, to release whatever it is that they've been carrying, to release the challenges, um, to have some kind of a completion, especially with whatever it is that they've been resisting. Um, in order to have stability, commitment, long-term, whatever. So they are moving in this direction, um, but it could be taking them a little bit of time to get to this 10. But th this is the direction that they're moving in and this is what they're healing. So let's see, let's see strength for the potential outcome here. The Five of Swords, the Lovers, and the Temperance. Alright, so Gemini and Sagittarius showing up at the end here, together with Leo. I'm telling you, there's like so many signs out here. Um, yeah, okay, so there's... There's a movement towards strength for the both of you. This is definitely for the both of you. This is also, whatever this is, um, I feel like it's making the connection stronger. Even if the two of you do not end up together. So I don't know how that makes sense, but it does. That's, that's the message I'm getting here. It's making the connection stronger and it's making each of you stronger as well. Um... The strength is in terms of 
standing up for your own selves, each of you, or maybe even just for this person, um, whoever needs to, whoever has likely been vulnerable or easily taken advantage of, standing up for themselves, for love, for love connection, and then ultimately finding this this balance. And come to think of it, this reading, um, the energy of the other person is reminding me of Taurus's energy. So some of you might even be dealing um, with the Taurus, which actually did show up as well. Could be any sign, just pointing out what I see. So yeah, that is, I feel like that was also part of the lessons that the both of you are learning. Um, it's helping you in your strength, in your courage to stand up for yourselves, to have boundaries or to go after what it is that you want and to not be taken advantage of. All right, Virgo. If this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. And let's see, final message for you. We have leadership. Step into your leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. So yes, I definitely feel like this is part of the lesson, especially for um, the other person here, um, which is what I was just talking about, standing up for themselves, you know, having that strength, whatever that might be about. Maybe it's related to this decision. I don't know. It could be anything. <laughs> so just take the messages as they resonate. All right, Virgo, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.